Good evening. Evening, guys. Hope we're all okay. How's the volume levels, by the way? Because obviously we've got the microphone down in front of us. Can you hear us okay? <clears throat> it's strange that there. Usually uh, there's a screen between us. Uh, yeah. Our oh, volume okay, guys? Before we, uh... <laughs> I wish he spoke like that. <laughs> I'm going to assume from all the comments, that, yeah, yeah, the sound. So we'll just crack on. Yeah. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So invited me mates over. Not to do with the fact I'm making a couple like. <laughs> yeah so we have been watching all you everyone chatting up and down so yeah it's uh it's nice to have so many people in a lot of the regulars yeah shadow hunters and bad cat jasmine and amy thanks for joining us guys yeah it's uh it's obviously usually it's episode mode isn't it on friday so we thought we'd stick with sort of the same time slots but um, usually when we say oh, we'll, we'll throw a chat on we go, oh, we've got nothing to talk about but then when we actually list down what we've got or what we've done or what's coming up we think wow there is actually a fair bit that we can we can talk about so yeah it's, uh, it's nice to see all the all the regulars there and lots of lots of hellos so i hope we're all okay yeah yeah, um, yeah hope we're all enjoying the weather now the sun's been out today yeah exactly but no we thought we'd start with a difference so as we told you tonight we are going to be giving away you know one of the as i'm modeling here so as yes they do come in uh, in larger sizes as you can see <laughs> but yeah so tonight guys we're going to give everyone the chance that is in the chat to win one of the haunted scouts t-shirts so with that I think if we start and just remind you about some of the amazing designs that we've got. So, yeah. Finishing on the very one that I am modelling, you know, tonight. Yeah, uh, I have to try and uh, have a little think over the summer as well. I'll get a few more, a uh, few more designs out there. But obviously, yeah, yeah if you do do want to win one, uh, first and foremost, uh, make sure that if you are obviously on YouTube watching that you have subscribed because obviously it helps. It's free, um, and you do get a lot of other benefits uh, with your ten percent discount for events um but yeah it's uh if you wanted to win a t-shirt um what do we say we're going to put um haunted, haunted, freebie, haunted, freebie, haunted yeah. freebie so if you type haunted freebie if you want to win a t-shirt uh your design of uh your choosing uh that we've, we've got on there type haunted freebie in the chat and um i'll start making notes of names and we'll draw draw it at the end as usual and yeah, it's not bad for a Friday night, bit of a freebie. So it is, yeah. yeah. And what I'm gonna do seems it started. We are prepared this time as well. We have the uh, the pad. Oh, I haven't written for two weeks. I have to get the picture right <laughs> and ready for next week. So, um, so there we go. We've, so we've started with Lisa. I think I can see she wants to be there. Yeah. Steve's 
the Robo Dog Tyrant Mike Emma. <laughs> You keeping up here? Mate? I am. <laughs> uh, where do we get to? Emma. Yeah, JB. Corinne. Your widgets in the set, guys. <laughs> Chrissy. I think there'll be this many. <laughs> uh, Debbie Linden, just in case we get more than one. The other half of the Tarling household, Chris. Bad Cat, Jasmine. Chris Collins, hello mate. We've used that thermal tracker a few times now, Chris, and it's uh, yeah, it's coming up in a few episodes to feature. Um, Patch and Grace, Patchy and Grayson. Yeah. You're okay. Kaz, Kaz Howden Rimmer, no. <laughs> uh, Sue, Sue Waring. Paul Roberts, yeah, Adam's mum, <laughs> just because my mum's playing catch up here, hi Margie, um, if you want a free t-shirt in the competition Margie, you've got to put haunted freebie in the chat or you're not getting in it, <laughs> but yeah, if I've missed anybody, please drop it in the chat. Um, he did well there, the lad. From 20 yeah. so far, which is decent. And uh, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, obviously, we'll announce it again halfway and then to, to finish off, we'll make sure all your names are on there. But pretty yeah. much, if Chris has said your name there, you're in. And um, we'll, we'll do it again in about half an hour or so to make sure that those that, uh, that do do have do want to enter have, uh, have got the chance. But Yeah, exactly. But no, listen, thanks. But that's why we threw that on at the start. We thought, Usually we throw that with like mm. 20 minutes to go and it's a blind panic. But uh, we thought, no, if I... Chat, we'll just drop yeah, that to see, zero. Maggie's in now. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so... We all love a freebie. Yes, we do. We do. We do. So, yeah, um, anyway, what, what have you been up to? Because uh, it's been half time for me, so it's been quite a nice uh, nice sort of chill, chill kind of vibe. What have you been doing? It is. I mean, those, those that, you know, Get to know me well now. I'm about to uh, I'm about to start a new job on Monday, so yeah, I'm gonna have to wear uh, dress pants and shirts again, which the wife has kindly uh, invested in for me. So she's making sure to go back on the train to town looking smart. So you're gonna see some uh, some new haunted scouts merch <laughs> and shirt and shirts and ties and stuff yeah. coming soon. So yeah. it's only a small office. There's only four other people in it, so it's not like there's gonna be a massive boost in subscribers, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'll uh, by the end of the first week I'll have brought them to tears about uh, about the channel. But yeah, so exciting times. And then again, just had a lovely little break in Clan Did No. Who doesn't love that? You know, weather was haunted scouse weather, but brought the sun back with you anyway. Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah, yeah and the uh, half turn, just I'm sick of decorating to be honest. So all I've been doing is building. So. Both kids' bedrooms have had new beds and all kinds, paint and, and, and a lot. So I've actually come here so I don't have to build anything tonight. So uh, there was a joke in there somewhere about having blisters on the palms of his hand, but uh, yeah, we won't go there it's before the watershed. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, but, so uh, just to show we don't, you know, literally behind the scenes of doing the channel, guys, it's it's all go. We are, uh, you know, we are. Busy and working and yeah obviously in between all that we have been to been to places as well and there's been an we event have. or two in there so we'll, we'll obviously get onto that soon but yeah it's uh it's nice to see so many people tonight as well so, yeah we'll uh we'll, we'll get going i think with uh should we drop a teaser trailer in from the off then mate you think or yeah, go on. shall we do you just want to see a teaser trailer for a new brand new upcoming episode Come on, come on. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Come on. There we go. Thank you, Tyrants. One and up, that'll do. Okay. The rest of you feel free. But yeah, so it's. Uh, I think what we'll do, we'll tease you. This isn't in the order that they get released in, because obviously um, the next episode is Mickle Trafford. Mm. That's coming up, which I've actually forgot to put the trailer down here to remind you, but I'll drop that in at the very end. But yeah, um, as you guys know, we uh, we had the great privilege of going into Liso Castle Hotel 
on the Wirral. Um, I think we can safely say we're the first ever team to do a full paranormal investigation and film it for an episode in there. So, yeah, I know you'll be watching tabs. Listen, thank you very much. And I, and I know we saw you last week at Bronny Garth. The, uh, the research that Tabitha did for us, for us again was just superb. And, you know, we have gone away and found out a few other details about uh, Liso Castle Hotel that we're hoping to get back and just investigate further into the true the truth about some of the ghost stories there but here's a little teaser anyway welcome to another brand new episode of haunted scouts where tonight we're back on his side we're on the whittle again and it's a massive thank you to liam and the guys for allowing us in to investigate the 500 year old historic liso castle hotel they are have you set that off behind you oh. I yeah, I mean, the one of the stories is uh, at Liso Castle that there was uh, a, a man, uh, a father and a child that were locked away uh, in one of the rooms. The father killed the child and then killed himself. Yeah, I've had my hand in this building for a number of years since we started Haunted Scouts. We're only stone's throw away from Lisa Lighthouse as well, but this building in particular has a number of different haunted hotspots, none other than the notorious Room 22, where we've got access to tonight. Assuming that was you. Whistling. No, no, big knock. No? Thought it was you. Yeah, can do. Oh, oh, hey. Your life taken from me by somebody. I've gone cold. I've gone really cold. I've gone like proper. That's just scared me cold. Oh man. Yeah, I mean, that's what a brilliant night, mate. Honestly, it's uh, like I said there um, in the in, in the intro that I've had my eye on that place for, for a number of years. And there's been uh, different teams doing events there and psychic nights and things like that. But to, to sort of go in and do what we do and, uh, you know, have sort of free reign of it and have our lock offs and, and investigate and, and the, the time that we had. Um, I watched it through, um, I think it was last week actually, so I watched the full episode uh, that, that you put together and forgot sort of, especially in one particular area, how audible and how loud some of the things happened in, in that room. And um, yeah, it just I just wish we had sort of, you know, a good six, seven hour sort of run at it and the whole building was empty because obviously it's never going to be entirely empty because it is uh, it is a hotel, isn't it? But um, on the night that we went in, it was extremely quiet and uh, the areas that we had definitely gave some really good evidence that, uh, that obviously Tab's, uh, you know, backed up yeah, with, with what exactly. we found there. So it's, uh, it's I can't wait for you to see it, to be honest, and hopefully I can't wait to go back and do a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as... As Chrissy and I think Amy said it further up as well. That that's why I left that that one little snippet in there of this isn't his castle because it was clear as anything. And it's it's when you're um when I'm editing these episodes and you are somewhere like that, you want relevance and sometimes mm. you can force your brain, the audio paradolia of when you when you listen to something back, you can how many times do we watch something can Put some something pops up on screen and you're hearing something completely different. And sometimes it happens with our episodes. Mm -hmm. You know, Adam watches it back, or I'll watch it, you know, when the when the premiere's on with, with the wife upstairs with Suzanne and, and Suzanne will say to me, that sounded like such and such. And then it, it, it kind of like when that suggestion's there as well, you go, You're right, actually, it does. Mm -hmm. But it's difficult, but that is that this isn't his castle. I was that I was buzzing when we captured yeah. that. Yeah, it's uh, so that it's just such a, a brilliant place with a lot of history to it, and a lot of the stuff that we sort of found out that night uh, did coincide with uh, stuff that uh, obviously uh, Tabs found, and then stuff that uh, yeah. we found as well in the research. And in particular, one certain part that we didn't do too much is where we want to go back and spend a bit more time 
Um, but obviously it's a little bit difficult in terms of uh, you know it's getting to the summer seasons now isn't yeah. it? it's a bit more difficult because the hotels are a bit busier but uh, never say never but uh, yeah I can't wait for you to see that one to be honest uh, I think I think the Willow ones are really get like you know it, it's over it's my side you know yeah. it's sort of my place and you know it's the one that I've been like oh we need to go here and it's great when we go and it delivers yeah. and it's like you see that's why you should have gone there <laughs> and that's why I told you so yeah. It is. It's true, guys. I mean, it's always uh, there's always pressure on us when one of us suggests somewhere, and it's on our side. And it's uh, it's great to uh, some of the places that we've been to that are further afield. But when you kind of go and oh, I've got this great place, it's you know we need to go here, we need to go there. And then, as Adam said, when when it's on your side, you you know we do feel more pressure mm. on our shoulders. It, it, this needs to be decent, and and when it is, you know it, it, it is. It's it's really good, and it's it, we are. We've touched lucky in a lot of the locations now. It's uh, that's why we're hoping to get back to Liso Castle Hotel because we're hoping that when the episode will be out on the um, 15th of June. So it sounds like a long way away, but we're already in April. Obviously, it's Mickle Trafford Mill this month. Next month's going to be Keithley Royal Arcade and then it'll be Liso Castle Hotel. Um, I think, as I mentioned to some of you on Saturday, um, was it was last Saturday, wasn't it? I'm getting, yeah, it was only last Saturday we were in Bronny Garth, yeah. Um, the summer, what we're going to do with the episodes in the summer is we're not going to sound said we're not going to waste big episodes in the summer because even ourselves included, <sighs> you're hoping to be doing something better than watching us two on a Friday night at eight o'clock, mm. sitting in the garden, sitting in a beer garden, being away somewhere. So, what I'm going to do in the summer. I'm going to put together some compilations from the events. So a lot of the events have never seen light of day. And I'm, I'm even going to go back to some of the old Grosvenor ballrooms footage that far back. You know, we've got, we've got Bumaris Jail. No one's ever seen. We've got Hack Green. You know, we've got, um, we've got Bronigar from the weekend. Mm. You know, we, we probably, and there's probably, there's others that, I'm, you know, just throwing a couple out there but but literally we've got so much footage that Hoy Lake as well it's probably a Hoy Lake parade there, did, yeah. yeah when we went Maybe back there, there yeah so there's never um there's there's never a shortage of extra footage but it just seems like we know like a lot of people um a lot of people do turn around and say we we'll watch it later on we'll watch it at 11 o'clock at night when it goes dark because we film in night vision that makes perfect sense so to just release a couple of episodes that yes of course we want our thousand views which we which we do average lately and we are made up with that so thank you but we're also not going to be disappointed if it gets 400 500 views as long as you guys that maybe were at the events um you know enjoy it it's uh, your moments in the spotlight really isn't it so most of them you won't even yeah. see us on, on on those episodes because we're either holding the camera or behind the camera or positioning it so it's uh yeah, it's uh, decent, isn't it? But um, it is yeah, definitely a good start. Anyway, with uh, with Lisa, when I say that's not even the next next event, really. Is it? Uh, sorry, the next episode. It's uh, it's going to be um, Michael Trafford, isn't it? Michael Which Trafford. We haven't got the trailer yeah. ready for it, but um, I can get the trailer. But we'll make them wait. Yeah, we'll tease that at the end because it's only so it's on next week anyway. So yeah, and to yeah. be fair, I can't even remember anything that happened there. Obviously, uh, Bad Cat and uh, Shadow Ones have been have been there yeah. as well. I'm hoping maybe to go back and do something with them at that particular location, which uh, tries to think of a few different sort of ideas that we can do that will benefit all three channels. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. We'll be in touch soon and we'll try and put that together. Um, hopefully, as, as long as Amy's not there banging gates and waking neighbours up and stuff yeah, like that. Amy, <laughs> God, she's like... Uh, <laughs> Giving the rest of us a bad name, eh? Do you know what? It's that uh, I think what it was, you had you had that Manchester trance music or something that was blasting with all your windows open in your car and the R girl just couldn't knock it. It was uh, yeah, it's not on, mate, it's not on. You know. Apparently she she does like the Bee Gees though, so if you go back, you know, but they were from Manchester, weren't they? I'm sure they were. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, but yeah, now on a serious note, we are we are working behind the scenes to try to sort something out with uh with Amy and Jasmine, because I think when when we watch the two of them together, as you can see from our channel, we are very very choosy who um who we hang around with. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we'll just take Amy instead. Then 
Jasmine, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> we look for rough people, don't we? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we thought, who can we go out on an episode with that's actually going to make us look better? And we thought, Jasmine and Amy. So, there you go. But, um, but yeah, but honestly, guys, you know, we, we know a lot of you guys follow them as well. And that's why we kind of, we just thought, there's the, we could get a good dynamic there and we know that they um we know that they investigate the same way we do respectfully patiently which is the main thing with an investigation you know it's a you have to sit around and let the energy build up and sometimes it doesn't yeah it's, it's going to be carnage really isn't it so it's may you may as well watch it just for that so <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly and the thing is you know because they'll be filming as well as per usual you'll see their episode about six months before you see ours so mm. we might uh we might mix it up a bit that night and film film an episode on one normal vision camera as well so at the very least i can try and release something at the same time mm. yeah um so what's uh what, what we got next then um so i think well, obviously if you guys have got questions by the way because we're just going to plan through this just make sure you drop them through and we'll uh we'll get back to them we'll put them up on the screen yeah because i did see uh i did see one from tyrant said how long we've been going for and mike's just uh mike's just actually answered it there so yeah we have been going about four years mate it's uh it's it's flown over it's been hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> four blissful years yeah <laughs> But no, it's uh, it's a uh, it, it's great considering we had sort of a year of just filming outdoors and stuff, and then to think of the the places we've been to and uh, and, and what what we've done in in, in that short short time, uh, as well as working full time, it's uh, it's brilliant. You know, I wish we could uh, a lottery win and just do this, and yeah, it would be great. But yeah, it's, it was uh, you get it, you get the you get the bug for it, but you also you, you get into. Um, you get into such great places that you can you you know i'll come back i'm going to change that banner because i'll come back to that because we are starting to get some questions um yeah we, we we do feel privileged and it's nice because as i put in the chat earlier on i can't remember whether we'd started or it was just before and i was saying to tyrant we don't we we only do permitted locations and with that a lot of them are charitable foundations all run by volunteers and that's where it's really nice, guys, that you guys that support us, whether it's a channel membership or attending the events, buying the merch, that money, that's what it goes back into. It's it's helping to keep these places open. When it when they are run by volunteers, it's helping them put some new tiles on the roof or you know, fix a fix a leaky tap or something like that. The little things that keep the building functioning. Yeah, and obviously with all the, the pubs that we did as well, it's just sort of a good little promo for, for them and even Lisa Castle as well, they've done the same way. It's just sort of putting their their building in the spotlight to get you guys in there and just, you know, um, that's what we're about really. And then again, it's promoting local history as well, exactly. first and foremost. Yeah. So it's just something that we, uh, we're both big on. So yeah, as I say, Chris, yeah, it will be in August, will be the official four-year thing for the channel. Because I had to set it up and have it all in the background before we actually had a video to put on. Yeah. So the first ever video was actually me doing a live for Ghost Quest TV. But, uh, but Ben kindly let me practice my editing by doing something else with it. So all you see is me walking around wearing Ghost Quest yeah. stuff. A bit like Paul Roberts. We, you know? uh, we we bank it as October, don't we? As, yeah. as, the, as our sort of start date uh, near enough on Halloween. So we go from October to October our, our year. Um, oh, favorite location. Um, I mean, we'll get on to it, but uh, Bronny Garth that, that we've just done is mm. it was unbelievable. Uh, definitely well exceeded my expectations, and I'm sure people in the chat would definitely agree with that as well. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll touch upon that a little bit later. But that has been probably one of my favorites for, for a long time. I think, wow, yeah. this is somewhere that, that, that I've loved. It is, and the thing is as well it's um you know we've been privileged to do some amazing places and it's and i don't think i think that sometimes where we don't uh we don't appreciate them enough because we kind of got used to it now in the early days go right back to we've often spoke about it and if anyone listened to the howard hughes 
on explain with how with Hughes that we that we shared on our page. If you haven't, go on the Facebook page and look for it. Great interview we did with a fellow scouser who's on national radio. Um, we spoke about how when we got into Walton Hall, it took us out the woods, and it was like, ah, look at this. And um, we kind of it sounds terrible, but you, the more you do it, you get to a point where you you're in, you're at, you risk losing that feeling mm. of 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 you know how amazing these places are. I think, and you've got to you you've got to drag yourself back in and appreciate them. Mm. But yeah, I mean, so uh, I don't know, favorite location. I actually, bizarrely, I enjoyed Thirty East Drive because I, his bucket list one, but I wanted to go there because I'd seen all the other videos of people getting pulled upstairs and that bloody pram falling down the stairs because it had been angled at the wheels on it. All these things that you kind of see that frustrate the life out here. Mm we wanted to go back there that's why the halloween special was an absolute pain to edit but we went in there and right we're going to cover that angle that angle that angle first thing i did was that pram at the top of the stairs was turn it sideways shove it up against the wall if that come down the stairs that was 100 percent paranormal not vibrations of going up and down the stairs all night um so i i really enjoyed 30 East drive because it was it was an it was a chance to go and have a look yeah. at the location and all these rooms where stuff had happened and say how could they have done that because don't forget we're not we're not here though we're not here to debunk and and call out teams but it is nice to go into somewhere and say could that have been paranormal because you've got to keep your 50 50 head and not just go wow that bang was paranormal like first thing i did in east drive was knock on the walls and they're all solid so this claim that carol next door is a is knocking on the walls all the time you, you'd hear it as a dull knock you, you know you, unless you've got a pl pl block of wood and a bloody big hammer on the other side it's a it's it's not carol that's making not the noises we heard anyway but yeah so 30 East drive for me for that reason it's nice to go into somewhere and and try to you know write your own story on it i'm just seeing this here Everyone else is just chatting amongst themselves. I don't know. Don't even know why we're here. Especially me mum. Do you want to ask a question, Maggie? Get a coach tour to go round where? What? Oh, I tell you what, Maggie. Better still, buy a t-shirt with all the pubs on it and go on the Haunted Scouse pub crawl. You know, if everyone buys a t-shirt that's got the pub crawl on, that'll pay for our pub crawl, and we'll come and join you. See, winner, winner. And the minute you buy a t-shirt, we'll go and investigate a different pub that's not on the t-shirt, so you'd be fuming that that's not that's on That's true, so. yeah. You know, we can all, you know, you know pub crawl t-shirt part two, coming soon. But yeah, so I'm trying to anyone else. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Amy, again, you know, and that, that's why we're like minded people. It is. It's it's don't um don't be scared to debunk your own evidence. It's because it's all I ever do. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I mean yeah. the longer you watch us, the more you've uh, the Liso Castle episode is a really good one mm -hmm. for a couple of things happening that he can't explain as hard as he tried and and it's a uh, but that's why it works so well. It's not we're not we're not jumping and screaming at every noise. But it is a it is nice when something happens, and even Colombo here can't uh, can't figure it out yet. <laughs> Behave yourself, doc. All the all the money goes back into the coffers for us to uh, you know hire another location. He says as we're sitting in the, the east wing of the complex, um, hopefully he's uh, it's Jeeves here, yeah, another brew. No, I heard that I, there was a knock on the door before, but I thought, <laughs> told him not to disturb me. Um, but yeah, you'll, we've got a video coming up later where we've, you know, we've had the driveway done. So it's, um, so yeah, you, you'll see that later, you know, and see, you'll see there's a bit of scaffolding where we're getting some work done. But it's, uh, but yeah, it'll look nice. You said Sheriff Mill there. Um, yeah, it's, it's, we were, I was discussing that with uh, with Paul uh, Paul Nolte, who's got the um, 
New Brighton Tunnels, um, and, and that's uh, that's one that's sort of come back on my radar now. Uh, things have sort of changed with, with 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 what's happening there, so it might be sort of one potentially to maybe go and do. Yeah. Um, Drake Low Tunnels, which ones are they? They're the ones a little bit further away, aren't they? They're about um, big ones down south, possibly. Um, yeah, because I think I think I know the ones you're on about, Corinne. Everyone else is already talking about the book. Also, uh, you know, now's your chance for those that are those that, that are not now going. Ooh, drink. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, it, it is. I know the ones you're on about. We um. You know, there are some great places out there, and it's it's about distance to them as well for us because obviously it's um when you you know, you're in work all week as well. You know, you you don't want to you don't want to be traveling too far. I, I mean, Bronigarth was you know Bronigarth was a high. It's it's on the we always look at like basically where we are. Sort of that two hour radius is sort of where we can't draw a line. I think yeah. Unless it's obviously like your East Drives or your um, Ancient Ramp, that's what yeah. I'm trying to say. Where it's somewhere where we can stay uh, and for, for the full night. But um, yeah, I think considering as well, every time we go somewhere, the weather's horrific. So driving back <laughs> from there at silly o'clock in the morning is grim. But, um, but yeah. Mm. So, yeah I'm gonna, let's, so we'll quickly touch on this one. We've contemplated it soon. That there's a couple of good videos out lately from um from Dark, Dark Arts. Arts. It was there, I saw that. Yeah. I didn't actually watch it, but um, and I, I, I never knew there was a Masonic Lodge in the basement mm. of the Adelphi. It's a day, it it never say never. And I think if anyone needs to do it, yeah, it's it's hard because obviously knowing what what it's like, you're never going to get it empty, are you? But then no. you've seen the videos and you think there must be sort of certain areas or places where like there's a floor closed off or there's something yeah. where you can go around so it might be where to look at the touch and see see what i mean we're going to probably have to do it aren't we because yeah. it's smack bang in the in the city yeah. center and you know we are probably the closest team to it yeah. aren't we so uh, it might be one way one day i'll walk in there ask to speak to the duty manager hand them a card and just say look you know you know can I speak to someone about coming in to do something a paranormal you know where where Merseyside's number one paranormal channel, um, and yeah, and just uh, and just see if there's anything we can do, even if it's a case of giving us a deal on a room. So we've got a key to a room, so have a base room somewhere mm. on the lower floors, and then uh, and then see what's what. But yeah, a few issues has asked about the Adelphi, and I think hopefully before the end of 2024 we can get in there because it. I think it we do need to do it. it yeah. The Adelphi Hotel needs to be on. The haunted scouts, I you know, back catalog. It does yeah. need to happen. So yeah, it will. It will happen. But watch this space. It's one to have a couple of a uh, couple of phone calls mm -hmm. and chats about. I think. Um, Amy, yeah, I mean, would love to. It's just money and time as well. It's you know, it's again, it's as you know yourself, mate. It's and you you're doing a Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm yeah it's 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 one of them isn't it it's in terms of like when i can go and when you go and yeah it's it, it's our it's a hard balance sport most definitely yeah um you know we, we'd love to go yeah. international so to speak or exactly or go fair, yeah. fair with the field but um yeah you got to think oh it's easy enough like getting somewhere like that but then it's like taking your kit as well and that's exactly. like the extra costs yeah. and, and things but that that's the thing with us it's um it's never a uh, it's never easy packing the car anyway when you go into a location that's two hours away, let alone packing it on a ferry and all the rest of it. We we'll put like two tickets to, to Ireland or to America on the Amazon wish list and see if anyone <laughs> anyone uh, anyone throws it our way. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, obviously keep your questions going. We'll go, we'll sort of get back to them and um, as, as we sort of power through um, as you put another one up. Um <laughs> That, I mean, yeah. that's the plan but if someone yeah. can have a word with mother nature and just say listen mm -hmm. turn it in girl these two are trying to get out and do some outdoor mm -hmm. episodes but yeah we don't want the episodes to finish knee deep in mud and just losing you know roll a cat ball across the floor and it just slowly sinks <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, 
Yeah, Mother Nature's not playing the game for the last yeah. three years, mate. It's uh, we must have touched really lucky when the channel started mm. <laughs> to have so many. We've got the microphones now to go out and do lives, and it's yeah, she's mm. just not playing ball. Yeah. So it w- it will happen, and that is the plan over the summer is to make life easy on ourselves and just go out and just do a couple of lives as well, just to keep the channel ticking over. Yeah. But um, but yeah, we just need Mother Nature to play ball. Yeah, let's. Uh, what, what should we talk about now? Should we have a little look at what's uh, what's coming after? Um, after the next episode, after the after Trafford. Trafford. Yeah. Yeah. another trailer, guys. So yeah, so the next one is a uh, Keithley Royal Arcade. So Keithley Underground, as it's also known. Mm-hmm. This episode is going to be out in May. It's sitting there on the channel, ready to have the premiere set. So it's um. So yeah, I'll share the little teaser trailer with you and then you'll know, keep an eye out later on because literally i've got a few episodes now now you've seen the trailers i can set the premieres and then yeah. i can go that's that done till the summer so yeah enjoy originally built in the early 1900s It wasn't until 2003 that this lower level street and shops were uncovered in the Royal Arcade in Keithley, West Yorkshire. <laughs> I'm the skeptic. I love that. Hello? There it was again. That was you that I've just seen. Can you come and all oh, cap all oh. behind you? God. <laughs> Thank you. Have you moved back over there? Hello? Lights and you just put your torch on. Okay. So you can see it then. What or who would we uncover as Haunted Scouts spent one night investigating Keithley Royal Arcade? I'd say most definitely, uh, I think it was Amy who put us onto that, wasn't it? Shadow Hunters yeah. again, so thank you very much for that. But uh, that had been on my radar for, for quite a while as well. And uh, I've got to say, although the weather was just yeah. horrific that night, and it does unfortunately affect quite a bit of the episode because all you're hearing is just the, the, the rain sort of pouring down through the gutters um, visually with uh, the cameras down there. The picture is just pinging, isn't it? It, it, it? We don't half do it justice. It's just yeah. a shame that the audio doesn't. Yeah, exactly. It's um, as Doc said there. You know that there's um that is exactly what what it is though. It's um that's how it should be. It's it should be about hearing noises and going towards it. And I mean, don't get me wrong. There was a couple of noises that we heard that we did um we did kind of pause a little bit before we went towards it and then we went looking for it because you've got to that's that's why we do this it's because yeah. we're them ones that we're 
we've sat on the other side and both love ghost adventures and love the fact that, that was the team that, that flipped the whole on the thing and went, what's that noise? It came from over there. We're going over there. Not what's that noise? Oh my God, get out with there's another door there. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's just it's so, it was just so difficult that night because audibly again, you know, really voices wise, it was like hearing and talking here, and we were that far on the ground that you know it, it sounded like someone in the next room was having a conversation uh, a lot of the time, and the voices we were hearing. But um, yeah, bad cats, the, the smell as well as uh, as 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 the uh, as the sound. It was just yeah, horrific and. We just, as the haunted scouts scarce usually is, you know, we were just unfortunate. But fingers crossed, we've got something in the pipeline about going back there and doing something and filming something completely different yeah. with somebody completely different as well. Um, so it's, um, yeah, and again, another place that, that the money goes to, to charitable yeah. places, isn't it? Which is which is fantastic and what we're all about. That, yeah, that's the brilliant thing. With Keithley, guys, you you, know, we, you pay your money to the owner and he gives it to some fantastic local charities um, because he, he, he doesn't he, he doesn't want to make money off it. He just he keeps it ticking over in his own way. And then when you pay him for the location, he gives that money straight to two or three local charities. And it's, you know, the, it gives us a feel-good factor because whether it's going to somewhere like Hoy Lake Parade for an event and you're handing over money and you're investing in keeping a community centre going yeah. <coughs> or places like that. And it's like, you know, we, we've recently been to, the, to, to Wales, to Clanachadal Hall, which is, you know, a little, bit, <laughs> a little bit more money and a huge building, but you still put money back into that building because they're trying to, they're trying to maintain it as a private venture. So, it, yeah, we, I mean, we love, we love all that aspect of it, and that's what I said before. That's why we don't jump over. Well, we couldn't jump over fences because we could still be there now. now. <laughs> yeah, you know, remember, you know, me trying to climb over that wall at the, the you know, bloody acre. That was that was bad enough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, climbing over fences and walls and into windows is not us. We get cramp. You know, it's it's no good. But uh, but again, that that's why we do what we do. That's why we monetized ourselves so that we could go into these locations because we were starting to. You start to run out of places you can go for free mm. and that's the problem because you've got to self-fund it at a, to a certain point and then we monetized with the idea that it funds itself and it now does yeah it's good that way and obviously again massive thanks to you guys for, for your support and if you're over on youtube and you haven't already just make sure you're there it's not going to be down there, is it? It's going to be somewhere like, I don't know, there. Maybe yeah, on there, YouTube, yeah. it'll be... Yeah. No, it's over here by you. It's right where there's crotches, somewhere just there. below there. <laughs> yeah, just hit that subscribe button. That's what we're trying <laughs> just, to say. Just smash Adam already. in the nuts and that's for you. Know, <laughs> give us a thumbs up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just pop that up by Melissa. Um, Melissa, if you message the page, uh, we get all our hoodies and everything now from. Uh, well, we get we still have the merchandise page on the, which is a, a German website, not that type of German website. I hasten to add, um, but we use Uniform Factory in Liverpool for the for the hoodies and that. So if you drop us a uh, drop us a message on the page, then I'll I'll help you out with that. Yeah, it's uh, it's safe. Both both of them are still still working still active but it's it's easier coming through us and getting it through the uniform factory because it's, it's just higher quality and we get it uh we get it much quicker and also um yeah it's important again uh local business isn't it yeah so, exactly exactly but before anyway so there's two banners i didn't even use there's no point in that. Um, so yeah so the reason I flashed that one up before is there's quite a few of you that were at Bronnygarth on um, on Saturday. Yeah, um, I mean, how I've already seen so many people sort of bang in the chat about how how good it was. But if you were there, or if you've ever been to Bronnygarth, you know, just just throw in the chat now. What 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 do you think? What was it like? Is it is it somewhere that we should go back or rebook or? um i mean personally for for, for me I, I would massively love to go back there yeah. i think we've only really just scratched the surface and 
Uh, I know it's probably the same for you, but in my group, you know, that the first part we did uh, upstairs, we only got through like about three rooms and completely missed, you know, an upper level yeah. and half the other part just because of uh, how much there is to see. And the same when we flipped as well downstairs, there was only a couple of rooms that we did, but it's just like a like a full affair of room after room after room, isn't it? It was, and as Adam said, and my group will know, I... I was looking for the next section because I thought, I know there's more to the ground floor. And my apology, I completely forgot we had to go down the corridor through the hall and then to the left and you're into the next bit. But the place is that big. Mm. We actually, we, I think we've hit on a new format for the events as well. And we've done it by accident because Hoy Lake Parade, we only had six in each of our groups because a few of you were unwell. So it gave us a much smaller um, group each. Mm. So we did longer group it, group sessions. It left less time at the end for doing anything, any just a wander around. But I think because the groups were so small at work, Bronny Garth, we more or less did the same way because you, you just got to go with it. Yeah. And, and I think having an hour and a half in each little part, mm. then by the time you finish your second part, you're touching one o'clock anyway. But it was such a huge location. There's yeah. so much. Mm. So I mean, just looking at some some comments there, I think there's a fair few people who were there that would uh, that want to go back. Yeah, Mike, incredible. Then you want to go back? So much more to see. Completely agree with you there. Um, yeah, Melissa wants to go anytime. Definitely return. Uh, if anyone drops out, yeah, it's again just keep an eye on the page and. Cars definitely go back. Uh, I think there's so much more to see. It's even press to the base room. But yeah, so we did uh, we did discuss that, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but, but again, we just where we put the kit apparently, but there's, yeah. there's something there as well. So as again, we, we don't ask you know, where where should we go, what should we do, what what are the areas that we should investigate. We just go in blind really, and then we were told a few extra little bonus bits, weren't we, at the end? Um, so definitely where from Andy, yeah. from Andy, not Ian, Andy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So yeah, got the name right there. So massive <laughs> he messaged me as well. the other day saying, "Do us a favour, message Ian and ask him about such and such." And I was like, "Who's Ian?" It's like, I haven't even dealt with an Ian. It's like, mm. what are you going on about? Then I finally got it out of him. The location, yeah. That's why I do the phone calls and the messages, you know, so we don't annoy anyone. <laughs> uh, Paul, they used to, they did. I know sometimes it still gets advertised for a sleepover. Um, we can ask the question, but I know. Andy stopped doing them because there were teams that were basically just taking the piss. They were they were paying for the sleepover, and then it literally was more of a kind of Airbnb for the night. You have to remember that it's privately owned. It's like you know, Andy will be upstairs in his, in his flat himself as well. So it uh, we can ask the question, um, but as I said, I don't know whether he does them anymore because unfortunately. You get the few that ruin it for the many, mm -hmm. whether it's prices go up, um, things like which has happened at Mill Street Barracks for those years that are booked on there for the end of the year. You know, that price has gone up for us. That's why the price went up slightly for yourselves. Oh, sorry, just the magic of the internet there, really, isn't <laughs> it? I mean, technology is great these days that you can sit on the toilet and watch us. So, you know, you can uh, watch us talking crap whilst having yeah. one. So happy days. Which, that's one of that's one of the right. lads I went to primary school with, by the way. So yeah, nice to uh, nice to know you've got control of your bowels at last there, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Belter right back he was, by the way. Very injury prone. He doesn't live there, Doc. He just um because they own it. They actually live down in Hampshire. Yeah, was the, it? I think the plan is eventually they are gonna have that top floor aren't they um but yeah it's uh <laughs> yeah, yeah you weren't expecting that to pop up on the internet were you mate <laughs> so yeah if you put a comment like that in here it's going up on the screen and telling you <laughs> so i mean judging by all the comments uh you know creed yeah what's what you expect they definitely want to go back so it seems to be that most people do want to go back so it's definitely something that we're gonna uh we're gonna have to rebook uh, yeah soon maybe potentially yeah and then also we're looking into um you's all wanted to go back to shrewsbury prison as well so we are we are looking into these things because we have you know 
as you guys know, we might still be in April 2024, but we want to try and get the January, February, March 2025 events booked. Even on our side, even if we book them and keep them a secret mm -hmm. from you guys, you've got to get in there quick for these, these better locations. But we, we want to make sure that with some of them, um, we want to make sure that we keep local on some of them as well. Mm -hmm. Because not only for us, because it's, it's less of a drive, but it's um it's investing in where we are as well unfortunately the ones that are local are few and far between and they tend to be the ones that want the most money when you get in a more well-known location you know that's why we're, we're, we're happy to put koi lake on the map more or less and it's it's interesting that there haven't been more groups booking in there because it's it's not expensive at all yeah yeah, so, um, yeah, um, clearly. Hi, Lee, another one of my old primary school mates. You just missed Robbie Millington having a poo. I know. Um, so, yeah, clearly it's it's definitely a place to, to, to rebook. Um, should we rebook it? I think so, yeah. When should we rebook it for? Next year. This year? This year, maybe. This year? I don't know. Well, let me just see. Let me just check if there's any dates available. Um, what about that one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. That, that was quick, wasn't it? So, <laughs> uh, as you can see, you you wanted us to go back there. We uh, we give you what you want. We have rebooked Bronny Garth uh, for this year, and the date on the screen there, Saturday the twenty first of September. Ticket price is £55. It is an expensive location, yeah. uh, but as you can all probably see in the chat, if you didn't go, it's definitely well worth it. Yeah. Um, and I know what's going to happen now is everyone in the chat is going to go, I want to go, me, I want to yeah. go, I want to go. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> if you do want to go, you need to message the Facebook page directly, and then from the order, we'll start obviously yeah. responding to, to comments either later on tonight or probably it'll be tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we are going back. Uh, we are going to hit it hard this time because we yeah. have to it ourselves. Now we do, we can get straight in, get on with it, and uh, yeah, just try and find out even more. And fingers crossed, you will be there with us as well. So again, if you want to come, message the facebook page directly and uh we'll put his name down and um yeah looking forward to it yeah exactly i mean i say i'm uh, you know reading through the comments there guys and that's the thing it's you know as adam said so that nobody misses out we honestly shot here we are not going to bother our asses going back and reading through all this chat again in case we've missed something so don't put it in the chat there that you want your name down you need to message us over on the facebook page on the haunted scouts facebook page as well not mine not adam's on the haunted scouts facebook page drop us a message over there it's going to be first come first serve we are going to say a maximum of three places per person yeah yeah i think we're gonna have to max because because we're going to be taking um, probably 25 people again because it's a more expensive location. We've dropped the price down. So we we just need our little profit margin on it as well. Um, so if you drop a message in there, no more than three places per person. So therefore, we're not having any teams booked on. You know, whilst we will allow filming only at the end of the night. So there's no filming during the night. So whilst we're hosting our events, what we like to do is have people put their cameras in the bag. We're hosting for the first three, three and a half hours. After that, you can film. It's because we're terrible hosts, you see, so we don't want that out there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it's usually someone will have a big light one be and it'll just kind of just yeah. kill, kills the vibe a little bit. But, uh, and again, there. Uh, september it's going to be dark much much yeah. quicker as well isn't it exactly. so that's another reason to go because it'd be great to arrive there with it already being pitch yeah. black we had to wait a little bit there for uh for the sun to sort we of go did. down yeah. which, again not saying that uh that doesn't add anything to it but just being dark straight away 
yeah exactly definitely. so um, but no, i can see you sending your messages guys brilliant obviously we'll catch up on all the messages so firm um, so don't worry about that we have we have this rule because i manage the spreadsheets adam leaves all the messages for me to answer so that uh just so that we be keeping the timeline um but yeah. now it yeah if you get something weird and funny back it's, it's just me <laughs> yeah. like a gift or something if you get quoted just... like 90 pound a ticket you know it's him just just yeah uh, can't add up that's the thing that's why he teaches primary hey slapping <laughs> kids off there <laughs> but um but yeah a great place and, and obviously that price of 55 pound that's scrolling along down here now that's if you if you take out a channel membership before you uh 10%. you get ten percent discount for, you know on one ticket for all channel members <laughs> I'll let you off Steve I'll like let you Steve's off. not going <laughs> yeah at this hang on yeah and that's the point where is he again but this time, Steve, don't be turning up like half four in the afternoon with Ronnie. <laughs> Christ, we hadn't even got there, and you two were sat outside saying, "Oh, we're early." Yo, yeah, sorry about that, lad. Go for a swim. <laughs> we'll get something to eat. Yeah, mm. yeah, exactly. But uh, but yeah, so if if you take out the channel membership, that ticket price drops down to forty nine pound fifty. I mean, that's an absolute yeah. It sounds like a lot, but you know what, guys, it's. We kind of look at this and think it's um you know it's like it, it's like buying a concert ticket or something like that you know this, this the thing with it so it's a uh, you know it is we do think it is value for money you get all your drinks you get all your snacks yeah well i mean there would be that many drinking and snacking i think that we're more investigating that night so yeah so that's uh that's our event sorted anyway isn't yeah. it and, um but yeah obviously for now, if uh, you want to win a T-shirt, by the way, uh, I'll just come back to that. There's 20 names down for, for this T-shirt. So if you do want to win a T-shirt, Haunted Freebie, if you comment that. So far, I've got Lisa, Shadow Hunter, Steve, Doc, Tyrant, Mike, Emma, JB, Kareen, Chrissy, Debbie Lynn, Chris Tart, Bad Cat, Chris Collins, uh, Patchy, Grayson, Kaz, Sue, W, Paul, Rona, and Max. So anyone who hasn't... Uh, commented haunted freebie and does want to win a t-shirt uh throw it in there now uh as yeah. amy just has yeah no you spell freebie wrong amy you can't be here. sorry <laughs> yeah and then uh we'll do a final roll call at the end and then we'll draw it so um but yeah quite an action packed one tonight so far i know you? where was the uh yeah mom i know Maggie well, we can't make this one it literally was the last date that they had left um, and obviously guys we already got October November December mm. boxed off um, and that was the only date that they, that they had available um, yeah here we go Carol we've got yet yeah, thank you but um but yeah so it's a uh, it is it's I mean it is such a brilliant location Bronnie Garth you're gonna love it and it's for us to kind of I know we've got um I know we've got Clifton over the summer and, and the end of this month as well. Mm. Um, but it is going to be nice to restart the winter ones going back to Bronny Garth because Andy was such a lovely fella as well. You know, it's uh, yeah. So, cheers, Aaron. Much appreciated. Thank you. It means a lot to us. Thank you. Do you want to see share? <laughs> yeah, listen, Aaron, if you want to win a teacher, mate, it's, uh, you know, if you comments we're giving away at uh, one of our like a model today, you can just different designs. It's uh, yeah, haunted three comments and you'll be in the in the draw. We're coming small as well, just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, to be honest, the quality of the uniform packs is superb. You know, literally my wardrobe is just full of these because it's you know basically because I designed them in the race. <laughs> <laughs> walking around in my own t-shirts that i just you know want a t-shirt with that on fine i'm designing one if anyone else wants one i'll put it up there but yeah yeah it's 22 anyway so we'll uh come back to that at the end and yeah uh, it's going well ambitious going with 30 there but it's uh 
Yeah, it's nearly ready to turn yeah. another page and do uh, do more on there, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, obviously we'll throw a few more questions up there before we move on. But if there's anything else that you want to, uh, you there want to ask, Adam's in now. There we go. Yep. Ain't air on. <laughs> there we go. You're in, mate. You're in. Yeah. So, has anyone got any other questions? While everyone's thinking the questions, should we show them the t-shirts again? Yeah. Why not? Only because it's a boss little video, and yeah, they, these are you've got. You, if you win the T-shirt, by the way, guys, this video for anyone that's joined late is just showing you the selection of what's on there. We do have stuff on the Facebook page that lets you have a proper look at them as well. Trista, yeah, so Melissa, we've got you. Yeah, yeah, JB as well, there, mate. Oh, and, <laughs> and Trista, we've got I've you, got Thanks, mate. Have JB you got JB? Going, JB, yeah. trying to get a sneaky second one in there. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, what we've tried to do with them is, uh, is just, just try to promote what we've done as well. So, so yeah, a lot of them, as a uh, seen Doc put that up there. Yeah, and I, you know, I can't remember how long that video is. I don't want to bore everyone with too many videos tonight. But um, but yeah, there is there is a video which makes a makes a you know makes sense mm. of a lot of the t-shirts. But to most of you, is that I've got I've been following our channel for a long time. You know exactly what the t-shirts mean. You know, the, there's another one that's potentially coming up that's linked to Keithley. Mm. It's a uh, which. I've done a little design for it and you know might see how it works on a t-shirt get one myself first and yeah obviously if you've got any ideas throw it our way and we'll see what we can we can kind of knock up uh it's probably got to be one something to do with referencing the weather on events i'm sure there'll be something in there that we could put together um but yeah and also i mean we're looking at sort of doing something a bit different with some of our t-shirts aren't we uh for, yeah. for us so we're looking at maybe some different colors and things and so it's always one to, to keep an eye out but yeah. Yeah, that was uh, a. <laughs> yeah. That that was uh, skillfully another one of my great uh, great concepts. It's just it's one of those things. It's a very light hearted uh, sort of t shirt on the uh, everyone's got the most haunted this and the yeah. most haunted that and the most haunted other. But we're the only people that can claim that we've got the most haunted t shirt. However. You can also state that claim by buying that T-shirt and have the most haunted T-shirt in the UK. Yeah. So, if you do want the most haunted T-shirt in the UK, you can buy it. Yeah, <laughs> and that was the whole idea behind the guys. The ridiculousness of you know, what well, this is the most haunted mug in the UK, but that's also the most haunted mug in the UK. And upstairs on a rack in the in the kitchen, there's about twenty more of the most haunted mugs in the UK. It's this ridiculous notion that someone's got the haunted doll, someone's got the haunted this, the haunted that. We've got the most haunted music box in the UK, and it's been on the telly, proven it. You know, it's come on. It's like you know, why can why can different objects not all have a haunting? It's like it's they they've got to go out there and have this little 
bitch slap with each other about mine's more haunted no mine's more haunted behave yourself just you know go and do your own thing and leave other people alone it's yeah there's a whole other chat there i can i can see chat you know. rant yeah, <laughs> whichever <laughs> but no it, it does it does frustrate the life out of me because we've created a safe space with our haunts of scouts community our haunts of scouts family and when um when we get you all together at the events it is lovely to see that we we go missing and you don't even realize we've gone missing and that's that's the that's the thing when we know we've created something successful it's uh when you don't even know we're not in the room because you're all chatting amongst yourselves that's nice you know it's and then everyone goes away from it and it's nice to see the comments the day after and watching you all interact with each other that's how the paranormal should be in there like the haunted doll fighter i've got like it in, in my head all right rob evening ron i've got like in my head joe like uh the harry hill you know there's <laughs> only one way to say like, yeah. oh, <laughs> <laughs> two yeah. haunted dolls I'm, I'm funny, yeah. But, yeah. i'll even put my collar up on my shirt for that one <laughs> yeah yeah so um We've got lots of questions there anyway, but I think maybe we'll put um, Good luck there, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I mean, we were um, over the half term. When was it? Was it last last week? Was it last week or the week before? I can't remember. At some point last week. Uh, we did do a little uh, road trip to Wales, didn't we? We did, yeah. It was uh, on April Fool's Day, it was. Ah, yes, it was. Yeah, um, yeah and we went to check out um, uh, Lathlanin, Lathlanin, the warehouse. <laughs> Clanfriclin. Clanfriclin. Which is our Halloween event. As as we move through into Wales, um, you will start seeing um, the haunted warehouse, the big old building, uh, the... Um, yeah, the Grand Manor House in Wales, uh, the Big Castle in Wales, because I can't say off the names, <laughs> to be fair. So uh, I know he'll correct me, but yeah, we did go and check out uh, Carver Clint uh, Warehouse um, because we were investigating somewhere else down then, um, which again, is it's a good location. Um, maybe yeah. not as, as what I as expected it, but in terms of, you know, what, was used for and the history to it it's going to be a really really great halloween yeah. uh, event uh to, to get yourselves on um or to be can't now because it's uh it's it's sold out. Out. Yeah. It's, it's, it's but those big. that are going by the way if any of you wanted to stay over there then it's just 22 pounds and you'd book that separately yourselves we are meant to take some pictures of the bunks and everything in there it looks brilliant yeah so so it is just 22 pound you know extra which I will put links on our page. If anybody does want to do that, that's going to Clan for Clean in October. Um, it's that's very cheap, and then that's enough separate from us, by the way. Yeah. that's obviously it's it's uh, yeah, it's got a little thing, kitchen and, off yeah. it and everything. So yeah, I'll just I'll just drop this up off top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like someone just walking like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, leave it with me. I'll see what I can do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bit windy tonight, something like that. Be, but, um, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's yeah that, that and apparently it's haunted in uh, in in those parts, isn't it? Or there's, yeah. there's, there's uh, talk of uh, apparitions been seen and things. But um, yeah, we were down there. We checked it out. It's a good place. Um, but I mean, the main reason we were down there uh, that side was uh was for this place that uh that hopefully you're gonna see a trade rob in a second yeah so fair the fair little sneaky peek of the uh, of the night guys dog really Okay, right, three, two, one. Hang on, where are we looking? That's what I was thinking as well. I might just be sort of looking that way. Yeah, looking like yeah. the, the ghostly mist mm. in the window up there. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, right. Three, 
two, one. Hang on, I'm laughing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know, I just got the giggles all of a sudden. Quite handy, them tracks, aren't they? Yeah. Makes us look in sync. <laughs> squelch, squelch, squelch. <laughs> Sorry. Is he just walking? You're losing light here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Deary me. So who's going out first? Yeah. And then I'll shall I stand in front of that plant because otherwise mm -hmm. we're gonna be washed in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Good evening everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Haunts of Scouse where tonight we're going to be investigating Clannachadull Hall here in Wales. Yeah, this magnificent building dates back to the 1700s and it's situated on about 60 acres. Oh, 60 acres, 60 acres. So close, getting it in one. Good man, I'm always going to say Clannachadull. <laughs> Why on set? <laughs> <laughs> That's a movie, that. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. So it's like a clue, though, doesn't it? Like the drawing in me. Yeah. Ooh, it's the nice hall, that, isn't it? The, the Welsh hall. Yeah. <laughs> Clanachidol Hall. <laughs> or hall. As it's known. <laughs> yeah, or the Welsh Hall, as he calls yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you can see how hard it is just walking in a straight line. Um, so it was pitch black before we even managed to get anything. So, um, but a great location. I mean, even driving up there, because it takes about half an hour, doesn't it, the, the actual driveway, uh, driving up to it, there was me hanging out the window trying to, trying to record that. And it was going well until we get like four seconds after that. You probably just see... Uh, the members extras will be great because it's just me like sort of getting thrown about in the car and yeah. the cameras just everywhere but uh, you can sort of see visually coming up to that how how big and grand that hall oh, is God, yeah. um, and, and the work that's being done on it but fantastic location mm. yeah i mean you know what guys this that's is the thing it's, it's, it's gonna be to be honest this is no investigating <laughs> we we filmed about an hour of b-roll and um going around the building and everything and then sometimes it's like i mean i've i, li I haven't even watched any of it I'm, i've made this uh i've made this rule now Hold on, let me just bring that up. hi michael okay, you okay mate i've made this rule now that we film i edit we film i edit so now that's why we've kind of we've got ourselves ahead now so june's episode is edited and then i'm just going to mess about with the events ones as i said earlier and then um Klanach Eidol is going to be September release. So it's not going to be brought forward. It is going to be the September release. And whatever we film subsequently is going to be a uh, subsequently, consequently, I don't know, subsequently. Oh, then whatever we film next is going to be afterwards. Um, yeah, Ronnie has said Haunted Free be up above. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Uh, there he is, Fountain Freebie. You're in it, Ronnie. <laughs> Good lad. You can see how long it took Chris to walk in a straight line. <laughs> the the next shot, we lost the light and it was raining. So literally trying to actually film the outside of the building, we got round the uh, the right hand side of it where you, you saw that great shot of uh, of the gun house, wasn't it? Gunhouse. Yeah, it was the gun yeah. house, yeah. Um, and it started lashing down. And I mean, you had to go in and get the umbrella. Then, yeah. And then what did we forget as well? Because you left me outside in the, in the rain. So I'll just, the I'll just flash this up. Chris, come on. <laughs> I haven't even edited it yet. But um, all I can say is a fantastic place. But, uh, but yeah. Cheers, Ron. Cheers, Ron. You need to go to Blackpool more often, mate. That's boss. Clearly, one on the uh, on the yeah. slots there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, listen. Thanks very much, mate. That's much appreciated. <laughs> What's Melissa? Clanachidol Hall. <laughs> hall. The Hall. hall. <laughs> yeah. Everything seems to have like double L's and everything in it. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> inadvertently Michael's entered himself into the competition. So. Yeah, so right, haunt of freebie, Michael. We are giving away uh we are giving away a t-shirt. I'm wearing one of our own merchandise range, so it's uh so yeah, so inadvertently you are now we would be doing a draw. Uh just we're gonna we're just gonna use a random number generator. We'll show the list so everyone can see the names on. Um and whoever is the lucky one from the random number generator we will uh you know we will send you out or arrange to be sent out uh haunted scouts t-shirts from the merchandise range of your choice so we'll uh yeah not bad for a friday yeah. it's not bad exactly and, and the, the thing we hit on the idea of giving away because we used to just give away beanie hats or baseball caps because we tagged yeah well, <laughs> one size fit at all that was the difference as well rather than say you can win this t-shirt and then big Ronnie wins it, and you're thinking, Christ, it's a large. Ronnie's a big fella, you know. He's uh, he's got our backs, but um, but yeah, it's a uh, you know. It's, that's why we thought the t-shirts are easier. The uniform factory will send it right out to your uh, to your home address for you as well. So whoever wins, so yeah, I'll look. You know, hi, Kate. You okay? It's probably thought I was in the pool. Man, oh, my arm actually here. <laughs> This is pre-recorded. He, he was here and then he left. He said he was going to the pub or something. <laughs> if you want a T-shirt, type in Haunted Freebie. And we're... Cheers, Amy. Amy much thank appreciated. you very much. Um, but yeah, I mean, back to uh, back to the hall. Um, I mean, great location. It's just, yeah, again, obviously the, the weather didn't, didn't play ball for us. Did it? Every time we sort of got in the car, it would lash down. Um, but it's just i think once in a few years time once that whole place is done up it is going to be phenomenal but you just saw a couple of shots there of uh particular that living room yeah what what a room that that, that was and uh we definitely had some strange some strange instances that 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 yes yeah. the uh some that could be explained others that um yeah that's it's a bit more uh understanding but it's uh again it's just a brilliant place isn't it and yeah. say we, we have promised that we were going to expand ourselves <laughs> out into wales and we are slowly sort of getting there um but yeah great place to start well, stay thanks Cheers, very stay. much mate appreciate it and again guys you all know that anything you put towards the channel it goes straight back into the channel that that's the way we work with it you know it's uh it all does go straight back in you know ignore the fact I was only joking, by the way. That wasn't my driveway in that video. You know, it's uh... <laughs> it is bigger. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but no, as Adam said, what a fantastic place, and uh, and you know, I think it is a place that we would love to go back to because it's we um it, it's always nice that when you go that when you go there and you find out the layout of the place, mm. it was uh, we were really made to feel welcome yeah. by by Ben, who's who's the actual owner of it and uh, and you know big, massive thanks to Catherine if she gets to see this for mm. you know for being our go-to there as well from uh she's from Wednesbury paranormal but she's like custodian for the paranormal side for Hannah Heidel and it's uh she's doing a great job there and it, it is what it says on the tin it's just a big old mansion house that is being renovated to um to to bring it back up to a standard that is that is 100 percent livable mm. The big fella's off today. Have another bevy. Be safe, mate. Take care. And thanks again, Ron. Yeah, some good sellers there, though, isn't there? Oh, the, um, the sellers, sellers were, were really yeah. good. Just like a, a foot affair that, that loops right the way around, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot to investigate there. Um, so, yeah, who knows? Hopefully, we'll be back at, at some point uh, to, to film a little bit more. And yeah. especially, I think, I just wish we had a bit more time outside as well. Yeah. Because uh, I think we definitely get something outside done. Yeah, because uh, that's the thing. We, we, you know, we did. If memory serves me right, that shot that we had outside, I know there's a bit in it where one of the one of the guys that was staying there, Charlie, came over and had a chat for a couple of minutes as well. And you kind of like, we're just too nice to say, losing the light. <laughs> and then when we did go around the side to get these epic shots, this big black cloud just come over and just went whack. And it's um, yeah, the umbrella that we were using is still in the foyer of the hall because we left it there <laughs> so it's not a freebie it's just too nice we even give umbrellas away yeah. 
<laughs> it wasn't even a branded umbrella it was some random merchant thing that i've had in the back of the car for ages but um but yeah but yeah a great place and again i haven't even started that edit it's not getting started till a we'll good few weeks i want to i want to get the summer ones done and then yeah it's a uh, it will be worth it yeah it's uh you're almost time for, for a t-shirt giveaway soon uh but i mean it is uh it is q a isn't it so uh yeah. i haven't had many cues um so if there's any further burning questions that you want to ask as while well, we're here please throw them in now and uh and we'll answer as many as we can no um, amy it's not you're gonna have to stay up a bit later it's your fault for walking up more out. you know you're not gonna win it anyway so you know you never do so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah has anyone got any questions any locations here we go thank you amy <laughs> interesting i had a place but it has to be done in a day for insurance purposes mm. um yeah it'll be again it just all it depends on, yeah. on on days and times and stuff like that's that the, but, yeah exactly I mean, that, mm. that's the thing because literally i mean every, you know, as i said at the start of this i start a new job on monday so i'm yeah. gonna be yeah i haven't mentioned that start a new job on monday yeah <laughs> um so yeah so there's no longer um there's no more B&M for Chris, but, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, I'm going to be, I'm not going to be getting home till like half six at night now, whereas I used to literally work round the corner. Mm -hmm. You can almost see it from here, but, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it is, we never say never to a place, but obviously by the time you know, like all the editing's done and we've, we've gone out and filmed something just those two as well, you know, and the months when we haven't got events is, uh, is when we get to like kind of chill out a bit as well. Mm -hmm um i did see one before but um it's again it's one of them places chris it's like morecambe has its gardens it's it's similar thing and I, and I believe once like private hands get on it they just start to wrench the price right up and they put it out of the realms of the likes of us you know and that, that that's the problem um what else did i say Aaron. I mean, we have investigated St. James yeah. a few times. I've seen we? earlier on, Aaron, you did mention that. Would we go back? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, definitely go back, and especially in the, in the winter, it, it, it's much better as well because it's yeah. quieter. But, I mean, investigating anywhere outside on Halloween, is it's just it's not feasible. Yeah. You're never going to get a proper investigation. It'll be obviously a good crack, but um, in terms of sort of what, what we're doing or what we're trying to yeah. do, it's there's just too much extenuating circumstances with, with noises yeah. and stuff so and there'll probably be about 20 teams in there all trying to do it as well because yeah. you have your um oh god what are they called ne necropolis tales from the necropolis mm -hmm. or something like that i think that that go down there do a fantastic mm -hmm. job acting out the parts telling the stories mm -hmm. um but yeah I th it would be good to go back there and do a follow up because it was it was a fascinating place to investigate. Unfortunately, it's it's not a safe place to be of a night anymore. You know, it's um, last time I was there, I was dropping a door, me, one of my daughters off the fill for a concert, and when I parked up to pick it up, I thought I'll go for a wander down there, and um, yeah, that showed me torch around one corner and spotted three people, and that was they were, let's just say they weren't investigating the paranormal, so. I was straight back up to my car. I just, yeah, sadly, it doesn't feel safe down there, but it is such a fantastic place. I mean, on Halloween, or anyway, uh, Halloween's a different sort of subject altogether, but uh, I did do some ghost walks up this and Hill, didn't I? Um, yeah. Last Halloween just gone, which did go go down quite well, so that could be something that potentially, if anyone was interested, going back up to Bits and Hill uh, and doing a bit of a walk and, and doing something similar, uh, let us know. And, I can obviously sort that out round yeah. there because I'm sure um thinking about the date, Halloween is on a half term, I think, again this yeah. year this year. So is, yeah. um there is potential half term I'll do that again. Yeah, because I think I'm sure Halloween's the Thursday. Mm. Um if I've got my dates correct. So yeah, and it um yeah, and and, and honestly shot on Halloween. We we we're not even sure what we're doing, yeah. So yeah, we've got I we've got we've got an idea, and we've got a backup idea. Uh, we just need to film 
one or the other. <laughs> yeah. It's usually filmed and halfway through the edit by now on the Halloween special, but yeah, well, we I mean you, you've heard him say that you know he isn't starting anything until uh in, until he's obviously sorted the rest out. So he's pitching old himself here because if we go and film somewhere else, he won't be editing the Halloween one, will you? So no. <laughs> so we might end up in St. James's Cemetery on Halloween night. <laughs> Uh, see Margie with one there. Yes, yeah, uh, that, that's another one, uh, and I think it'd be reference it uh, when we do Leesville Castle. But we'd love to go back there. Um, the, the conversation around it was obviously there was two uh, further rooms there that would potentially be sort of kind of decluttered and opened because uh, what we got on the night wasn't as as much as I I anticipated or hoped for. So. Uh, if we have done that, um, I'd definitely uh, start training now and uh, yeah, get, get those steps, uh, yeah, no, get yeah. on the Stairmasters and, and get training for that one. Michael, thanks oh. very much, mate. Appreciate it. Yeah, is Amy still getting over the stairs? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just that first little 30 seconds of the episode of him walking up the stairs is worth watching it just for that. Um, Emma's flag going up. Are you able to do the Empire? We would love to. Um, we have kind of got a foot in the door with, you know, doing the Royal Court of, you know, everyone knows everyone. Um, so we are we are trying to push on, trying to add to our Liverpool mm. theatres portfolio. And even over Adam's side, it's just trying to, trying to get into these places because they're so busy mm. as well. And then even just being in Liverpool City Centre, there's a pain carrying all the gear. You know, the Royal Court was great because the car park, you come down the lift, you turn the corner, you're in. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, the Playhouse is one that I have sent a message to, um, mm. which I need to I need to chase on, actually, because they've got a couple of shows coming up this year that would yeah. tie in with us nicely. Um, yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Spot on, Michael. That That is correct. And that's... You know, why shouldn't a place be haunted during the day? Because we've all been in places of a day. And, you know, Bumaris Jail, for example, you know, the summer before we hired it, myself and the wife were on holiday and went over there. And we had, we had ironically, we had more spooky experiences in that hour walking around John August with, you know, a nice, lovely summer's day than on the night. And maybe that's because it's, once you've got a larger group, the subtle little things that happen, you miss them, but um, but yeah, we did experience stuff there, and so that's a hundred percent true. It's we often have things happen when we're setting up, and you kind of just you get, you know, we're busy setting cameras yeah. up anyway. You don't concentrate on it, but a lot of our stuff and some of the episodes coming up, you see it. Stuff happens while we're setting cameras up, and it hasn't gone dark fully, and then we start, we go with it. Okay, so there's a camera on. Mm. Howard Hughes uh, not there as well. Uh, yeah, we had quite a few people that come over from uh, from listening to us on Howard Hughes the other night. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's lots to obviously see on the channel if you are Merseyside-based. There's loads of locations there that you can, you can scan through. Uh, we've been on a fair few podcasts, really, haven't we? Uh, we have, in our, I mean, in our yeah. time. Access um, Paranormal. Um, where's the, uh, where's, the where's, where's, where's my mug? I'm going to get my mug for this one. Because he kindly gave us a mug as well. The How Very Interesting Radio Show. Mm. And yeah, we've done a number of radio interviews as well, haven't we? Uh, on yeah. On BBC Merseyside, Radio City, and um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's a lot about that, actually. We've actually done proper radio as well with uh, Sean Styles on Radio Merseyside last October. That was good. Mm. So it's, uh, yeah, we, I mean loves to talk doesn't he so uh, <laughs> it's the advert for bt that's why it's easy when we're in the same room because it's the howard hughes one was quite difficult but he, howard hughes is brilliant by the way he's, he's obviously used to having two guests and now one's in one area and one's in another and because he's a scouser as well it was great because he knew the locations we were talking about but it was you know he said before we even started i'll prompt rather than like one of us nudges the other to answer um, quickly put this up from Chrissy. Uh, never say never, mate. I mean, you know, it was a kind of last minute thing, an idea last year because we figured out we've never done Halloween merch exclusively for Halloween. But if you can have that hat behind your head, mate. 
But then last year's stuff, I'm not putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> last year's stuff was actually that good. Then I might I might try and come up with a couple of t-shirt designs. Um but that stuff will be available. It's all it's still available now if anybody just wants mm. a different design on hoodies and, and hats. But uh but yeah, I mean I'm always we're always knocking ideas between each other and then I'll I'll make you know mock something up and, and see what he thinks, and then we tweak it till we go, that's the one. Just like in between us here, the bootles, you know, again, great idea from the young and here, and then you know, we we've come up with it on the uh, on the actual on the actual merch side of things. Usually it's me with outrageous ideas going, Chris, make this happen, make this happen, and then uh, <laughs> Chris puts it together. So yeah, there's a few decent RAF yeah. uh, bases, isn't there? Um, I'll tell you what, as well, speaking that, I'd love to do Camel Air to buy, buy mine. Yeah. Um, that'll be a really good one. Um, but yeah, a lot of these RAF bases are quite far out there, aren't they? Uh, yeah, that's the problem. It, it's it's logistics of, of, of doing stuff as well. That's mm -hmm. the uh, that's the thing. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm just going back through. It's... Uh, That one your side, mate. That one that yeah, we contacted, that another one that's never got back to us. Or? Yeah, it, it's one of those. It was one of the first phases that, that I thought of, and especially uh, working locally there, trying to, uh, you know, we, we our kids go to Pantos there. Uh, Thank you, Sue. Cheers, Sue. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, our school goes to Pantos there and um, trying to get the foot in the door on there. But, I mean, there's always something going on in there, uh, but they just... Don't, don't get back to us unfortunately but that's a really nice sort of intimate uh small uh small one that, that would be great I've, I've got to lash this one up it's a pity ronnie's gone because he'd be devastated caroline you might be in saint lucia he's in blackpool so you know just <laughs> but no if you haven't already logged off and um, yeah listen have, have a fantastic time yeah and we're going back to ronnie garth as well yeah exactly <laughs> seeing you drop your message in so yeah I've got you there. I've got your message there. But yeah, we are going back to Bronny Garth in September. So I'm sure uh, Dan and Tabs will tell you all about it. But have a fantastic time, both of you. Um, wait, I've seen another one up here. Where was it? Um, ah, Amy. It almost happened. Um, as a lot of you guys know, we almost got on the BBC because of a certain time slip in Bold Street. It's just a haunted scouts thing that we almost we almost, we almost. <laughs> uh, and then julie who is part of that story of the bold street time slip who was actually on the episode contacted me um just to say that she was the one she'd seen our posts about almost making it onto the show mm. related to that story and um, excuse me she actually um she actually was was it up for doing something with us mm and it would have been great and then the more we thought about it the more we thought actually it needs it needed somebody who's more professional than us and i don't mean that we're not good at what we do because we are but we're limited on the cameras and if julie's going to tell her story and walk through that day she turned this corner she turned that corner she stood in front of it it needs a proper production because I would love to see that story done properly. Yeah, it's it's like our like we've been talking. Our next sort of investment is on uh, a much more expensive camera to film intros with and to film B roll with and and to sort of really highlight in in four K uh, and and then some uh, what we're going. But we're looking at you know triple figures and and then, then yeah. some. So sort of what we're kind of banking on now with the events and things going forward next year is that pot of money is going to be put aside to to reinvest in because we've got yeah. a lot of the equipment that we sort of wanted anyway um so we're, we're safe on that part uh but that's going to be the next sort of big grand investment will be uh, a much bigger yeah camera, i mean you're it? talking like 500 plus mm -hmm. for these cameras even second hand and it's and then you gotta buy new batteries for it new memory cards for it and all kinds so that is a, we will see where we are with the coffers at the end of this year. Mm. But that is the next investment for the channel is people are asking us to go to locations. We can do professional interview with them. The microphones that we wear can plug directly into the camera as well. So I'll just flag that up. Hi, Mark. Okay, Mark. Thanks, mate. Thanks for commenting. 
But yeah, I mean, no, it's great. At least you're finally dropping your questions in. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's all keeping up with the comments, isn't it? I know, yeah. We didn't realise we were so popular, guys. Sorry about this. Even though you're not talking to us, you're talking amongst yourselves, but yeah. that's fine. <laughs> of the, uh, is it Michael there? So about the dream location. Uh, I mean, funny enough, we were asked that by, by Howard Hughes, weren't we? Yeah. Uh, and it's hard to think of, like, on the spot, where's your dream location? Uh, or Locarian, um, as, as Michael well, well put it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and you said Speak Hall, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I think I, I think I'd love to do Speak Hall because again, because we're haunted scouts, mm -hmm. and it's great going out to these locations in Wales and 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 out in the northwest, and it's locations people have heard of. Yeah. But it's also nice to come back and come back to our roots. That's why you know. It's gonna be it's gonna be great for you to see you know even something like Mickle Trafford Mill it's not that far away from us. Yeah, it's um, I definitely agree with there. The same like Croxteth Hall and St George's Hall, which are actually doable, but um, you know we, we can't sort of justify uh, you guys tagging along and paying like triple figures yeah. for for the ticket price because that's sort of how much they kind of want for. Um, so. We know that we do get a lot of have you tried here, have you tried there? And 99% of the time, the answer is yes, we have. And if we haven't had an event there already or we haven't filmed there, it's probably because A, it's too expensive, or B, they don't apply to us and they don't offer paranormal. So, uh, but I mean, not to say that uh, we don't want your, your suggestions keep them coming in. Um, but yeah, it is getting a little more difficult, I think, trying to, uh, to get locations, especially when. Um, companies do go in and sort of block book as well and then that sort of one location likes one certain yeah. company just to kind of manage the paranormal so then other teams don't sort of really have the chance to actually get in there and do it especially smaller teams like us I'm just laughing because if you look on the screen that cap looks like it's floating in mid air behind you because every, every now and then you move and the cap goes <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, thanks, Sue. That's another one we'll look into. Um, I seen you put up about the pub earlier on. We did look into that with the pub because it's a functioning pub. It's just impossible for us to film in any more functioning pubs because we ain't rocking up at 12 o'clock midnight anymore, finishing at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's just, it's not feasible. And then you can't guarantee that all the punters actually leave and you get to ride. So, yeah, again, you never know for the pubs. I mean, there's also a transport museum over on the wheel as well. That's there is, and it's, yeah. it's very rarely open. Uh, even trying to get a school trip there as well, it, it's, it's difficult. But yeah, unless obviously pubs uh, are willing to sort of then shut at like eight o'clock, which again it affects their business and their trade. And, you know, it, it, it's a bit of give and take, but we can't say right, we'll come in, but we can shut. You get everyone out there because we're not about like you know, this is about our rules and what we need, but. It's really, really difficult, especially getting going. It's where I'm trying to be all like, oh, Yeah, you're already yeah. tired and you're like, yeah. I mean, we've got the extra one, which I might release some of the footage in the summer, to be honest. Um, uh, the deal, it, it's a husband and wife that run the pub. I spoke to the wife. And she crossed me. Everyone was going to be gone by half 12. Rocked up, spoke to the husband. Cross wires, two o'clock, we're packed up waiting to go and, and the husband pops up and asks us, you know, how did we get on? Are we done? So maybe we haven't even started we're going home. He was still downstairs with six of his mates who'd stayed behind. Um so yeah, so that was disastrous. Mm. Um yeah, so that that one never happened. And it's a shame because it was a belter location. But yeah, it just that was that's the that's the thing with the pub ones. It, it, you know, as we said to him, he had people that wanted to stay behind and pay an extra bit of money and you know, it was the only time we got the SLS camera working that night as well. Yeah, the only time you sort of see it working and me dancing on it, but yeah, it's... Uh, hmm. Hi, John. Uh, thanks for your comment, mate. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, we have, and yes, we would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, so we, we've already filmed an episode there, which is on the YouTube channel, if you want to have a little search for that, which is a, which is a great, uh, great episode, uh, especially some access to places that not been sort of seen uh, yeah. i.e the nurses quarters which are fantastic 
uh, last December, wasn't it? Uh, sort of our Christmas event. Uh, we did host an event there as well, which is, uh, you know, it's a sort of teams that do high that place a uh, few far between, aren't they, really? So we're one of the lucky yeah. ones that, um, that did get to hire that. And we have hired it again, haven't we? For yeah, it's November. already sold out, the November one, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so we're we back there back. in November, and again, it's sold out. It's just one of those places that people ask for. And, I mean, it's one of the first places that, you know, you hear sort of the scouts' voices, like, oh, have you done that, that hospital? That uh, Like, yes, you know, it, it was off the top of our sort of to-do list and yeah we, we ticked that off last year twice didn't we so yeah mm. uh, let's see one more thing off mark i wanted to throw the mark first and foremost mate brilliant to have you in the chat and uh and yeah we missed you at Bronny garth and uh yeah hope you're okay mm. mate <coughs> um yeah i mean that's the thing guys once you're part of the haunted scouts family you know you, you're part of it for life so everybody looks after each other so but yeah i mean put any of them buildings along the front there would be immense to get into yeah. it's just um the problem is it's like a lot of these buildings including the one i'm going to be starting my new job in on monday you know just in case no one knew starting a new job um it's a historic building beautiful marble floors and walls and everything but then each office is a different company mm. so it's where it's been like one grand building for like you know the cunard shipping company and things like that it's um now they're all split into individual one off one each each room has got one plaque on the outside of it so to investigate these buildings would be brilliant but is nigh on impossible now i think mm. but yeah at least uh at least we got a few questions there yeah the mate we definitely did and it's yeah. uh, obviously time's ticking away now and we don't want to keep you uh too late and obviously i'll have to drive back home as well um but yeah it's uh, always a uh, always a pleasure to uh, to chat with you and have these catch ups and you know every time we sort of do these catch ups we've always got something to sort of announce and uh, we'll flash it back up again uh, and I haven't well I'm sort of just glancing through the uh, through the inbox now I'm not going to yeah. sort of announce who, who's message so or done what. Of course you are JB. Listen guys, I think a few people we get messages saying if you don't go to the events you're part of the haunted scouts family of course you are listen we appreciate each and every one of you that watches the episodes drops us a comment comments on facebook instagram TikTok, x you know all of it honestly we we don't we don't kind of go unless you're at an event you're not part of the family you are because that's the beautiful part of it so don't worry about that honestly there's about eight messages in the inbox there as well. So if you're going to assume that these eight people might be coming with someone that potentially could be 16 tickets already gone uh, out of 25 that we've got available. So, um, yeah, if you do want to uh, return to Bronny Garth Hospital with us uh, in Wales, make sure uh, on Saturday, the 21st of September, uh, make sure that you message the, the page either tonight or probably tomorrow or get messages with your friends and, and uh, putting the feelers out because it will sell out quickly, uh, especially for the ones that were there last time and have all said, I'm definitely coming back here. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Corinne and Chris, that if you're if you're still watching, by the way, yes, we've got your uh, we've got your message, so don't be worrying. I know we spoke to you last week and we've got you on the reserve list, so we do keep reserve lists for um, events as well, guys. So if you do see an event that sells out, ask us to put you on the reserve list and then if anybody pulls out then we can always uh we can always add you in you know and that that's that's the way we work it with it so as ever anybody that's putting the name down for it it's a 20 pound deposit per place that's payable immediately because obviously we've got to pay for the location and um, let me just check my spreadsheet a second the balance will be due on saturday the 27th of july so that's so for this one yeah you know, i'll just uh, quickly pop this up someone else said hello we like to be polite hi chantel. hi chantel thanks for joining us but um but yeah so so 20 pound deposit secures your place 10 pound of which is non-refundable because we have to protect ourselves as well you know this this the thing with it the the more we go forward with these locations we're getting bigger locations guys that this this is a business this is a legitimate business now haunted scouts it's registered with tax and everything so we are 100 percent legitimate that's another reason why we don't go into abandoned buildings we don't climb through windows or over walls and fences 
and things like that. You know, it's um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's it is something where you know we we are we've got to be. I'd like to say squeaky clean, but then if anyone's been being on an event, you know we're not. <laughs> but you know we are we are a legitimate business, and that's the thing. So all of this that you see around all the merch and stuff like that, you know, it is legitimate. It's not you know it's not come off the back of a wagon. We're not down there down Grady Market with it and things like that. It's uh, and that that's why we have to protect ourselves with the events because mm-hmm. you know we we get a lot of people that say. Um, that, that put themselves down and oh, I want to come, I want to come, I want to come. And then it sells out and they haven't put the name down and then they disappear. And then somebody else might drop out. It's a, uh, you know, so it's, um, it is, it's, we, we do have to protect ourselves on that. So I'll just flag this up as well. Okay, Paul, first and foremost, yeah. Uh, I'll answer the phone, see if you get on with it. Yeah, most definitely, Paul, Charlotte, hope you're okay. And yeah, uh, yeah fingers crossed, uh, you know, we do get you. At an event very very soon um we know obviously things happen uh but yeah it's uh we've got we i mean it's we, we try and do sort of one a month now don't we um and it is and then we have that bit of a gap in the summer we're already starting to plan ahead for january february march of next year yeah. and as you know they are getting bigger and, and better uh but equally we've got always the, the the favorite ones as well and the smaller ones as well and we're really interested to see what happens uh at clifton uh Masonic yeah. as well, just coming up. Um, yeah, cause, I mean that's the thing, guys. We would when when we see you guys all together, like you were on on Saturday. It is it is a brilliant thing for us, honestly. It's and it's like for us to step back and and know that we can leave you all to have a cuppa and everything, and just and we can go off and we have to go off and explore the building ourselves. It is we've created something that we're extremely proud of, and I know that you all leave and go. Oh, I can't wait till the next one and. When is the next one? And we need to do this. And we need to do that. We'd love to, but in between all that, we've got to go to work, and we we've got lives, and you know. And then with a YouTube channel, that's the thing. We have to make sure that the YouTube channel keeps going because that is our bread and butter. The YouTube channel is what ticks us over. In that, you know, if the events stop, the YouTube channel's there, and that that's that's what we started as. And that is what we'll finish as, and that that's the thing with it. We have to keep that going yeah. because that's where the interest comes. Some of you guys that you know, we have new faces at the uh, at, you know at, at both the Shrewsbury and Bronny Garth, and that's brilliant. So whilst it's amazing to see all you regulars there all the time, new faces is essential Definitely. for us to keep going. Yeah, if uh, this will obviously just be the last call as well. If anyone isn't in. Uh, who wants a t-shirt um, Haunted Freebie uh, type it in the chat now because we are going to be drawing uh, our freebie out our Haunted t-shirt uh, giveaway uh, so any of the t-shirt merch that you would like uh, we are going to give one away for free uh, we're going to draw it out very very soon um, I've got Lisa Shadowhunters uh, Steve Doc Tyrant Mike Emma JB Kareen Chrissy Debbie Lynn Chris Tar, Bad Cat Chris Collins uh, Patchy and Grayson, uh, Kaz, Sue W, Paul, Rona, Mags, Amy, Carol, Aaron, Melissa, Krista, Ronnie, and Michael. So if there's anybody else who wants a free t shirt, um, type uh, haunted, uh, free in the chat now and I'll put your name down and we will draw it out in the next sort of two minutes. Um, yeah, I'm just scrolling back up because I've seen a couple of people say hello. There we go. Hi Jay, I hope you're okay. Yeah, thanks for joining us. And I also seen another one ask about uh, Debbie. Hi Debbie. Yeah, cracking place. Um, again, all, yeah. it's it's uh, it's one of those that we will uh, do something full there, and yeah. we will film. A, a we proper... did a disastrous live yeah. about two years ago. Um, it, it was on my phone, wasn't and it? Literally, it's... I mean, and we both do it. Adam had got a new phone. And we hadn't checked the phone settings, and instead of doing a full HD um, live, it did like a potato phone live. It was like an old Nokia. So we both had a look at it the next morning, and I think I've even wiped it from the memory of the YouTube channel. So it was a uh, because remember Shadow once remember Amy being in it and going, "Oh, it looks brilliant," and it was for us. It was brilliant. Some great evidence going off, and then you watched it back, and you're like, "Oh, can't even see it." 
So yeah, we we are going to be going back there. Yeah. What a fantastic place, and it's it's so eerie mm. and a lot of stories attached to it as well. That Chantal there was it? Yeah, um, and you got you got Paul in there as well. It's the Paul and Charlotte. You can fight over who gets the t-shirt, Paul. If yours your number comes out. Are you what preempting this? 29 29 and yeah. maybe there's a uh, room for one, know, one to 30 was there uh, was perfect take one more question there i think I'd yeah there we go yeah christian hi christian thanks for uh thanks for joining us um difficult that one isn't it because it's uh we usually answer with walton hall but we'll try mm. and think of something different because it's it depends what you think as a scary i don't think apart from dogs in the woods for me um the actual paranormal scares difficult isn't it's, it i mean the, the, the outdoor, they've done that many places now yeah, as well. the outdoor ones are obviously always the, the different because you're outdoors so you're wondering uh to you know is that paranormal or is that someone who's obviously like uh especially when we were at, um where were we uh on the rally uh, yeah. towards the end of that that was vibe because you thought that was a group that you know were, were pretty pretty lively and coming towards you um but yeah it's, it's it's hard isn't it um scary i mean there's been a lot of places mm -hmm. ronnie garth was by i say don't say scary i'd say vibey yeah yeah there's a lot of vibey places like walton hall although scary it is very vibey. ronnie garth definitely very vibey um, yeah even keep lead to a certain yeah. extent uh being underground and hearing some of the voices and especially switch yeah. on the back bit very vibey and i think yeah. for me and we've got a couple of episodes and again i was i was kind of rattling off to the missus earlier on you know the events that we've done that i haven't even edited and this fits into there that's going to be out in, in the special episodes over the summer uh, the griffin i think i will oh, actually cool. say yeah. that when we split up in there the first time we went um i would say wouldn't potentially wouldn't say i was scared but i was extremely uncomfortable and aware that there was there was a presence in the other side that we sadly couldn't get back into with them um, when we there when we there when we hosted a members event yeah. we couldn't get back through because it was in the midst of being renovated it's flat now good luck if you live in one of them um yeah that was a uh, that was sorry i was just seeing steve's comment then that was for me was the griffin also available as a t-shirt you'll see that uh on on my camera it's it's somebody just went behind it and brushed the leg and screamed and i mean massively screamed even steve was like nearly he was at the door almost so it's brilliant you'll have to sort of yeah they're they're all about that, that, that so yeah stay hopefully yeah. that is on camera it and is. and you know that's mm. gonna be getting shared everywhere, mate. You know, I'm gonna, you know, I might send it to your workplace via email. <laughs> you'll just walk in one day and all you'll hear is your scream. Mm. Yeah, it might even come the outro thing into the haunted skies. It'll be Steve's scream. <laughs> Steve's stomach, probably. <laughs> yeah, but um, I think everyone's obviously is wait itching really. Was, uh, yeah, to get this I think we kept his waiting long enough now, and we tell he's about to turn itself off, so best press a button on it. Yeah, it's uh, it's been great, isn't it? It's been yeah. so good to see so many people in the chat taking part, and um, you know, lots of locations there. Looking at you know, sort of forgetting, oh yeah, I forgot about that, I forgot about that. Yeah, so many different locations that we've been to. Um, no, it's, and it's great, honestly, guys, for you to you know stick around with us for so long. It's been coming two hours, and that's why we wanted to throw in some some trailers as well, some teasers, and uh, and yeah, it has been, and obviously, you know. The last event announcement of 2024 and literally the one at this moment there's there's no zero plans to do any more in 2024 because we need a break and you know, unless it's like something like the halloween walks that adam was on about which you know we are just they're not they're not events they're just extras to say thank you and 
you know, we did a great job last last year on them, I've got to say. Um, I've got a bigger bucket this year to sort of shake at the end <laughs> just to sort of get yeah, some like tips. Yeah, um, <laughs> for the driver, yeah. But, um, but yeah, but no, it's, uh, it is. It's been great. It's and a lot of new names and, and you know, yeah. popping up on both Facebook and YouTube. So that's the good thing with the crossover. If there is anybody that's on Facebook that hasn't subscribed to the channel, please head over and subscribe. Um, because although you can watch it on both, you know, a lot of people, you know, some people don't realize they're not subscribed. You know, my channel member as well, before you buy your, your ticket for Bronny Garth, because you get your 10% off, don't you? And yeah, any exactly. further merch, you get a discount on that too. Exactly, as you see at the bottom there. So if you want your 10% off your event ticket for Bronny Garth, if you've got your name on the list, you have to take out, I have to check in the morning and see that tomorrow you took out a channel membership. Mm -hmm. And then I can apply your ten percent against the ticket. It cannot be done retrospectively, guys. So yeah, we'll have none of that. Thank you. And then your name goes in the credits at the end of the episode. Yeah. Well. Also, yeah, he laughs his head off because I've got to redo the credits at the end of the episode. But yeah, I'm I'm more than happy to do that. But as I, I think I said this to Corinne and Crystal at the weekend, don't be alarmed if you see episodes coming up and your names not in the credits because the way I edit them. You know, I can't always, because we're not doing one a week, I can't always update the credits in time. So, and it takes so long to reproduce it. Plus, yeah, I can't be asked. <laughs> but no, I do, I'm holding back on some of them uploading them. I upload them so we can watch it, and I'm holding back on uploading it so that I can keep the credits up to date because it does mean a lot to us. And you do keep us going with those channel memberships and those that have donated through the uh, live chat tonight. Thank you so much. So yeah, um, should we get that random number generator up? Yeah. Let's see if we can uh, pick a winner. Uh, right, okay. So we've got 29 uh, people who have entered this. So that's a good one. Uh, random number generator. Exciting. So what I will do, I will just, just to prove that we have been writing everyone's name on it. There we go, from the top. Okay, so uh, generate, and it is number 20. Number 20, which is, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> it's a fix. <laughs> It's me mum again. <laughs> oh, Maggie. What are you going to do about that? <laughs> <laughs> You're costing me a fortune, woman. It's always right. the Cummings that wins it, isn't it? <laughs> Honestly, I'd be crying fix or something in the comments here. Right, so, just like when it happened last time. <laughs> and the time before that. And the time, time before, before that, that. And the time before that. <laughs> we are now going to have to give away a second t-shirt. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. <laughs> so, we'll do it again. <laughs> oh, good God. Uh, right, so I'll just remind everyone that, they, I mean, legitimately, <laughs> obviously, if 20 comes out again, Mum, you can jog on, you're not getting another one. for very close to my mum there as well. I know. <laughs> but... <laughs> You know it's going to come out next is a uh, and, and i'll make sure adam turns the phone around when he presses it it's going to come out next number 19 and it'll be adam's mum number four is that four yeah four yeah number four is the That's doc the <laughs> well done there you go get a t-shirt <laughs> Well done, and I know uh, he had his eye on one or two there as well, didn't he? No, he was already, he preempted that, didn't he, by telling us what yeah. one he was going to get. But yeah, well done, Mum. Another freebie. Thanks for supporting the channel. <laughs> we all have to give away. We always give a second prize, don't we? Even though this is going to be a third prize now, isn't it? But got any more hats or beanies or anything? Um, I don't know. Have I? on the spot. Yeah, we have. I probably got a hat or a beanie, so yeah. Why are you giving a third one away? Yeah, okay. we've got to, come on. 
We always give something else away, don't we? Right, oh. okay. One more. And this, no, no number four, no number 20. They've got theirs. This is for whatever I've got in the draw, a baseball cap or a beanie hat. Or oh, probably a pack of biscuits or something like yeah, that. Or, or a jammy wagon. A Jaffa, yeah. Joe Nut or whatever they're called. Okay. It is, oh, my favourite number, my lucky number. Who's number 10? Number 10. Is Chrissy, is that? Chrissy. Yeah. Yep. Well done, mate. Right. That's it. He's going home. Get out now before you cost me a fortune. And another prize. Uh, <laughs> so a ticket for Bronny Gar. <laughs> He's joking, by the way. You can get your hands in your pockets and pay for them. I'm skint now. <laughs> but yeah, so well done to our uh, prize winners, Mike Stock and uh, Chrissy there. So again, massive thanks uh, to you all for partaking tonight. Um, exactly. I'll just flash, flash these messages up quickly. Yeah, Mark, thanks. Thank you so much for the for the you know the the long service on the memberships there. And just in case anyone's wondering, by the way, my mum has been a member for two years. So to be fair, she puts in and it's uh, and she takes out. So it's um, and she comes to all the events and I charge her for them because I don't like that. <laughs> but no, listen, well done, Mum. Well done, Doc, and well done, Chrissy. So yeah, it's uh you know, and and everybody else, you know, in another six or so weeks, we'll uh, we'll do another one of these, and yeah, yeah, it'll cost a fortune, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'll check when my mum's on holiday, and then. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, thanks for uh, for tuning in and watching us tonight, guys. Obviously, if you are on YouTube once more, make sure that you have subscribed uh, and check out the rest of the channel, and also uh, there's some great channels that I know are in the chat as well. Jasmine, um, thanks so much for go. becoming a member. Thank you. Yeah. And obviously there is one absolutely amazing channel, yeah. uh, Bad Cat Paranormal, as well as uh, Amy Shadowhunters is uh, in here as well. I'm sure she yeah. had an episode out uh, on, what day are we on today? On Wednesday, wasn't yeah, it? Wednesday, I think, Amy, Thursday, so yeah. It's definitely worth going to check out two channels there with uh, lots yeah. of amazing content that uh, upload weekly, unlike us lazy people that uh, decide to go to one a month. So, yeah. Um, no. mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's great to have uh, have some more uh, more family members there, and obviously you will take the credits again, mate. So yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. I reckon Jasmine's actually stuck around for the credits at the end of the episode and thought, "Hang on, Amy's in the credits there. I want a bit of that, so why not?" And you know, I want to come to Bronny Gart. You know, you just you know, it's five pound fifty off your Bronny Gart tickets yeah. as well. If you don't have to pay. But um, but yeah. So I think with that for the change. He's got the dragons to do, so I'll just pop this up. Hi, Chris. Anyone else who's just jumped in and has been watching and has jumped in the last minute to say hello? Apologies if we haven't dropped. We always like to throw everyone's message up when you're saying hello. But, uh, exactly. This has been a brilliant one, guys. It's, there's been so many comments. We haven't been able to keep up. Um, but, yeah, so those that have won the prizes, I'm pretty sure that, I mean, I know where my mum lives. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure, and, and I've got, the rest of you know, the I'll, 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 yeah, and I'll drop you as a message, Chrissy and uh, and Doc, to, the, to you know, to let you know when it's on its way. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. And as, again, guys, to everyone else that's donated tonight, thank you so much. It does go straight back mm -hmm. into the channel. And as Adam said, we are working towards a, a really good camera. Um, but it's all the bits that go with it as well. We're getting some good advice from Ben, a good friend of ours, Paul's new boss at Ghost Quest. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and yeah, again, that'll change the game for us again. But um, but yeah, yeah, we'll uh, obviously said. see you uh, next week on the on the channel for our, our episode, which is uh, at, um, where are we now? Um, Mickle Trafford, Mickle Trafford Mill. So yeah. we'll see you on that one, and obviously for the rest of uh, our members as well. One of our members events uh, is at Clifton Hall, which is coming up uh, very very shortly at the end of the month too. So uh, another bonus for being a member. There is members events. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, which we they're they're the extra ones that we do squeeze in. We have members yeah. exclusive events, yeah. and you have to be a channel member for that. So yeah, well yeah, I think that's uh, that's definitely a good night for yeah. me and. Uh, Good night from him. Yeah, so uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Yeah, take care, guys. Have a nice weekend. See that.